Well, I hope everybody is doing well out there because yeah, today is just another brutal, brutal day in the market. A sea of red again, just bleeding assets all over the place. ADA has actually dropped down to the 40 cent range, a range we have not seen since December of 2023. All right. We, we bounced a little bit now. We're up to the mid 42 cent range. But people need to understand that ADA is not doing this alone. I know some people will pile on ADA and say, oh, yeah, see, it's it's doing bad. It's performing poorly. No, really, the whole market is performing poorly. And here we are again doing the same exact thing we did yesterday for basically the same reasons, except now it is official. It is official that Iran has officially attacked Israel. They launched a series of drones. And yeah, I'm not going to bore you guys with the details, but they, they've escalated. All right. So now we, we have the likelihood of involvement from the U S involvement of the, of other countries throughout the world. And this has sent a lot of fear into the markets. This is why you're seeing this sea of red. This is guys, this is a black swan event for those who are here for the first time, for those who have not experienced one before, because the last one we had was June, June of 2023. This is what a black swan event feels like. It sucks. Okay. It frankly sucks. We saw the same thing happen when we got hit with the SEC FUD back in in June of 2023 and then got hit with the institutional selling at the same time. It cratered the market. But what people need to understand is that these are those big buying opportunities. This is where we can scoop up positions for a lot cheaper than what we could have before. Remember, ADA just basically got to a point where it was a 50% drop from its cycle high. That's a massive, massive discount. I'm not saying it can't go lower. Maybe it can. Who knows? you know, what, what this is going to escalate to. It could become bigger. It could end up being nothing. We could have peace treaties by tomorrow. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but, but these things, they, they play an impact in the market. And again, I want to remind people, you know, for those who are saying, oh yeah, we knew it was going to get down to these levels and yada, yada, yada. No, nobody knows what black swan events are going to do. No one knows what kind of impact these are going to have. This is an unnatural drop in the market. But again, what I think about is down the road, do I think tensions will ease? Yes. Do I think prices will improve? Yes. Will I be thanking myself that I accumulated during these times where there was a lot of fear? Absolutely. Because if we're not taking advantage when the market is fearful, what are we doing here, right? If you're only going to buy when it's high and then panic when it's low, I don't know what to tell you. All right. Me personally, I've accumulated. I'm kind of waiting to see if, if things calm down here. You know, who, who knows what this becomes? It's just still very fresh. The market's been very reactionary. In fact, I watched ADA drop from, I think it was about 40, was about 48 cents all the way down to this range currently. And guys, I haven't sold. I haven't sold any ADA. I haven't sold any of my assets. I'm just patiently waiting because I know that we'll get through this. The market is strong. Crypto's growing. We're entering mass adoption. None of that stuff has changed. This is just a little speed bump on the way. So I just wanted to share that with everyone. I get that it sucks, but there will be better times down the road. So I appreciate you guys as always. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below. Have a great day. We'll get through this together. Take care.